Adrenergic Receptor, Wikipedia Article Audio The adrenergic receptors are a class of G-protein coupled receptors that are targets of the catecholamines, especially norepinephrine and epinephrine. Many cells possess these receptors, and the binding of a catecholamine to the receptor will generally stimulate the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the fight-or-flight response, which includes dilating the pupil, increasing heart rate, mobilizing energy, and diverting blood flow from non-essential organs to skeletal muscle. History Categories By the turn of the 19th century, it was agreed that the stimulation of sympathetic nerves could cause different effects on body tissues, depending on the conditions of stimulation. Over the first half of the 20th century, two main proposals were made to explain this phenomenon. The first hypothesis was championed by Walter Cannon and Arturo Rosenblueth who interpreted many experiments to then propose that there were two neurotransmitter substances, which they called sympathon E and sympathon I. The second hypothesis found support from 1906 to 1913, when Henry Dale explored the effects of adrenaline, injected into animals, on blood pressure. Usually, adrenaline would increase the blood pressure of these animals. Although, if the animal had been exposed to ergotoxine, the blood pressure decreased. He proposed that the ergotoxine caused selective paralysis of motor myoneural junctions hence revealing that under normal conditions that there was a mixed response, including a mechanism that would relax smooth muscle and cause a fall in blood pressure. This mixed response with the same compound causing either contraction or relaxation, was conceived of as the response of different types of junctions to the same compound. This line of experiments were developed by several groups, including Marsh and colleagues, who in February 1948 showed that a series of compounds structurally related to adrenaline could also show either contracting or relaxing effects depending on whether or not other toxins were present. This again supported the argument that the muscles had two different mechanisms by which they could respond to the same compound. In June of that year, Raymond Alquist, professor of pharmacology at Medical College of Georgia, published a paper concerning adrenergic nervous transmission. In it, he explicitly named the different responses as due to what he called I plus or minus receptors and I superscript 2 receptors, and that the only sympathetic transmitter was adrenaline. While the latter conclusion was subsequently shown to be incorrect, his receptor nomenclature and concept of two different types of Dechter's mechanisms for a single neurotransmitter remains. In 1954, he was able to incorporate his findings in a textbook, Drills Pharmacology in Medicine, and thereby promulgate the role played by I plus or minus and I superscript 2 receptor sites in the adrenaline-slash-noradrenaline cellular mechanism. These concepts would revolutionize advances in pharmacotherapeutic research, allowing the selective design of specific molecules to target medical ailments rather than rely upon traditional research into the efficacy of pre-existing herbal medicines. There are two main groups of adrenergic receptors, I plus or minus, and I superscript 2, with several subtypes. Roles in Circulation Epinephrine reacts with both I plus or minus and I superscript 2 adrenoreceptors, causing vasoconstriction and vasodilation, respectively. Although I plus or minus receptors are less sensitive to epinephrine, when activated at pharmacologic doses, they override the vasodilation mediated by I superscript 2 adrenoreceptors because there are more peripheral I plus or minus 1 receptors than I superscript 2 adrenoreceptors. 
the result is that high levels of circulating epinephrine cause vasoconstriction. However, the opposite is true in the coronary arteries, where I superscript 2 2 response is greater than that of I plus or minus 1, resulting in overall dilatation with increased sympathetic stimulation. At lower levels of circulating epinephrine, I superscript 2 adrenoreceptor stimulation dominates since epinephrine has a higher affinity for the I superscript 2 2 adrenoreceptor than the I plus or minus 1 adrenoreceptor, producing vasodilation followed by decrease of peripheral vascular resistance. Smooth muscle behavior is variable depending on anatomical location. Smooth muscle contraction slash relaxation is generalized below. One important note is the differential effects of increased camp in smooth muscle compared to cardiac muscle. Increased camp will promote relaxation in smooth muscle, while promoting increased contractility and pulse rate in cardiac muscle. Subtypes Antihistamines I plus or minus receptors. I plus or minus one receptor. A euro there is no I plus or minus one C receptor. At one time, there was a subtype known as C, but was found to be identical to one of the previously discovered subtypes. To avoid confusion, naming was continued with the letter D. I plus or minus two receptor. I plus or minus receptors have several functions in common, but also individual effects. Common effects include I plus or minus 1 adrenergic receptors are members of the GQ protein coupled receptor superfamily. Upon activation, a heterotrimeric G protein, GQ, activates phospholipase C. The PLC cleaves phosphatidylinositol 4,5 bisphosphate, which in turn causes an increase in inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol. The former interacts with calcium channels of endoplasmic and sarcoplasmic reticulum, thus changing the calcium content in a cell. This triggers all other effects, including a prominent slow after depolarizing current in neurons. I superscript 2 receptors. Specific actions of the I plus or minus 1 receptor mainly involve smooth muscle contraction. It causes vasoconstriction in many blood vessels, including those of the skin, gastrointestinal system, kidney, and brain. Other areas of smooth muscle contraction are Further effects include glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis from adipose tissue and liver, as well as secretion from sweat glands and NA and reabsorption from kidney. Antagonists may be used primarily in hypertension, anxiety disorder, and panic attacks. The I plus or minus 2 receptor couples to the GI slash O protein. It is a presynaptic receptor causing negative feedback on, for example, norepinephrine. When NE is released into the synapse, it feeds back on the I plus or minus 2 receptor, causing less NE release from the presynaptic neuron. This decreases the effect of NE. There are also I plus or minus 2 receptors on the nerve terminal membrane of the postsynaptic adrenergic neuron. There are three highly homologous subtypes of I plus or minus 2 receptors, I plus or minus 2A, I plus or minus 2I, and I plus or minus 2C. I superscript 2 1 receptor. Specific actions of the I plus or minus 2 receptor include I superscript 2 2 receptor. Specific actions of the I superscript 2 1 receptor include I plus or minus receptors have the subtypes I plus or minus 1 and I plus or minus 2. 
Phenylephrine is a selective agonist of the I plus or minus receptor. I superscript 2 receptors have the subtypes I superscript 2 1, I superscript 2 2, and I superscript 2 3. All three are linked to GS proteins, which in turn are linked to adenylate cyclase. Agonist binding thus causes a rise in the intracellular concentration of the second messenger camp. Downstream effectors of CAMP include CAMP-dependent protein kinase, which mediates some of the intracellular events following hormone binding. Isoprenolin is a non-selective agonist. The I superscript 22 receptor binds epinephrine and is involved in the fight-or-flight response. Specific actions of the I superscript 22 receptor include the following. Noradrenaline, phenylephrine, methoxamine, sarazoline, xylomtazoline, midodrine, metaraminol, chloroethylclonidine. Specific actions of the I superscript 23 receptor include I superscript 23 receptor, amitriptyline, clomipramine, doxepin, trimipramine. Typical and atypical antipsychotics. Hydroxyzine. Agmatine, dexmedidomidine, metidomidine, romafidin, clonidine, chloroethylclonidine, brimonidine, detomidine, lafixidine, xylazine, tizanidine, guanfacine, amitraz. Vasoconstriction of veins. Decrease motility of smooth muscle in gastrointestinal tract. Ureter, vas deferens, hair, uterus, urethral sphincter, urothelium and lamina propria, bronchioles, blood vessels of ciliary body. Inhibition of insulin release in the pancreas, induction of glucagon release from the pancreas. Contraction of sphincters of the gastrointestinal tract, negative feedback in the neuronal synapses, presynaptic inhibition of norepinephrine release and CNS, increased thrombocyte aggregation. Increase cardiac output by increasing heart rate, conduction velocity, stroke volume and rate of relaxation of the myocardium, by increasing calcium ion sequestration rate which aids in increasing heart rate, increase renin secretion from juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney, increase ghrelin secretion from the stomach. Smooth muscle relaxation, e.g. in bronchi, GI tract, vasodilation of blood vessels, especially those to skeletal muscle, lipolysis in adipose tissue, anabolism in skeletal muscle, Relax non-pregnant uterus, relax detrusor urinary muscle of bladder wall, dilate arteries to skeletal muscle, glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, stimulates insulin secretion, contracts sphincters of GI tract, thicken secretions from salivary glands, inhibit histamine release from mast cells, increase renin secretion from kidney. Relaxation of bronchioles, involved in brain, immune communication. Enhancement of lipolysis in adipose tissue. I superscript 23 activating drugs could theoretically be used as weight loss agents, but are limited by the side effect of tremors. <laughs>